Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how you can create a dashboard in ServiceNow. So firstly open up your ServiceNow account or you can just simply click on this dashboard icon. So as you can see I already have multiple dashboards but today I'm going to show you how you can create new dashboard. So for doing that just click on create a dashboard then name your dashboard. If you want to add a group into your report, you can do that from right here, but I won't do it because I don't need it. So I will just simply close the window and choose the owner that you want the dashboard to be accessed by. After doing everything, just press submit. If you again go back to the dashboard page, my new dashboard should be somewhere here. Um, yeah. As you can see my team incident slash 2 open it so as you can see it's completely empty right now because there are no reports or any details attached to the dashboard so, in order, so for doing that just click on the plus icon to add widgets then choose your specific category for me it's reports then for me it will be incident report I will just press add and it will be added and then I have to add more reports so I will just search them I, I will be adding this report and how you can add a report is just simply click on the arrow key and then press add and the report will be added there is one more report that I want to add in this dashboard which is yeah this one yeah so after we have added all the reports let's reorganize the dashboard so for example i want to make this small i will just make it small and then i want this to be above all of them and i will adjust the size also want it to be very small so as, uh, so as this one Yeah, right now it's not looking pretty good so i will now simply close the widget column so as you can see it resized automatically now our dashboard has been created if you want to share this dashboard to someone just click on the share icon right above here and then you can add people by groups users or roles whatever you may prefer so just choose the column then click on the plus icon for adding the person or the group enter the name of that particular person over here you can also give the user that you are sharing this dashboard to only view or even edit this dashboard that you just created after setting all of this just press share but i have no one to send this dashboard to so i will just simply close the column so yeah that's it thank you for watching and do like and subscribe to my channel and take care